If you got hit by a truck after you got your vaccine, that was reported to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. We at CDC have a responsibility to comb through every single one of them to review the medical charts and to see if they are related. It is the case that the vaccine doesn't prevent Ms. being Ms. hit. Ms. Walensky, I'll reclaim yes. my time. You did nothing about that and continued to push vaccines. That's what the American people care about. We review all of the things that come into the vaccine adver adverse event reporting system. I'd be happy to have our staff educate your staff on the work. I don't want my staff educated. You should educate the American people about what you've done of 1.5 million reports because they feel like you've done nothing and continue to say okay. safe and effective. In a House Oversight Committee hearing this week, Marjorie Taylor Greene came out as firmly anti-education when it came to the data coming out of the CDC's Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. She told outgoing CDC Director Rochelle Walensky that she didn't want her staff to be educated about the results of that system, presumably because Greene thinks that the COVID vaccine is harming more Americans than it saved, which, according to all available facts and statistics, is just patently false. And while Green was obviously responding in the moment, and like most of her congressional outbursts, not giving it too much thought, I actually wouldn't be surprised if she has a very low threshold for um, high information staff and how knowledgeable her staff is on things like facts, statistics, and the best policies overall for helping the American people. And since it's that time of the year when education is celebrated in the form of graduations and end of the school year celebrations, Let's pivot to the words of a leader that are actually inspiring and encouraging of the pursuit of education. If you want to be successful in this world, you have to develop your own idiot detection system. The best way to spot an idiot, look for the person who is cruel. Let me explain. When we see someone who doesn't look like us or sound like us or act like us, or love like us, or live like us. The first thought that crosses almost everyone's brain is rooted in either fear or judgment, or both. That's evolution. We survived as a species by being suspicious of things that we aren't familiar with. In order to be kind, we have to shut down that animal instinct and force our brain to travel a different pathway. Empathy and compassion are evolved states of being. They require the mental capacity to step past our most primal urges. So that's Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, whose message about intelligence and cruelty is one I haven't heard framed in such a way, but it's really powerful. Weaponized cruelty, as he says, has taken root in our public sphere and government, as influenced by practically every Marjorie Taylor Greene exchange in Congress. And sure, it's annoying and enraging, but it's also a desperately cruel tactic of masking one's insecurity and lack of, well, intelligence. An intelligent person can withstand disagreements with respect. It's obviously easier said than done, and it doesn't mean you should give up on trying to convince people of what's right. But sometimes it's worth looking even at the people you most vehemently disagree with and trying to see some shred of their own humanity so that we can try and work through issues that affect all Americans, left or right. And I am going to turn this on myself and bring it back to someone I don't have a lot of respect or admiration for, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Earlier in her exchange with Walensky, Green did have an interesting comment about Walensky's future after she is to step away from the CDC. Green asked her if her next job would be, quote, on the board of either Pfizer or Moderna. Of course, Walensky didn't answer. I will say that going from a government agency to a cushy job at a pharmaceutical giant that influences that agency she just left would be a flagrant conflict of interest bordering on corruption that is unfortunately so common in our country. MTG is so wrong about so many things, and I really hope that she's wrong about this one too, and that the CDC director does not prove that Marjorie Taylor Greene actually had a smart question to ask. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.